Units of the Ukrainian Navy destroyed enemy ammunition depots near Mariupol, which was temporarily occupied by the enemy. Ukrainian Navy Press Service reported this. It is noted that recently units of the Navy launched a missile strike on important enemy ammunition depots near Mariupol identified by intelligence. According to confirmed data, the strike destroyed both the storage infrastructure and tons of ammunition that the invaders had been stockpiling for use on Ukrainian territory, the report states. The naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, together with units of other components of the defense forces, continue to destroy the enemy on land, at sea, and in the air. Radio Liberty publishes satellite images showing the aftermath of fires and ammunition detonations in three different locations in the vicinity of Mariupol. One of the depots, like those recently struck by the Ukrainian armed forces in Russia's Voronezh region, was located in a forest. Some of the strikes, according to photographs and eyewitness accounts, were carried out on Friday, September 13. Others, on the night from Sunday to Monday, September 16. Photos of the aftermath of one of them, near the village of Globoko, taken on the ground, were published by Petro Andriyashenko, an advisor to the Ukrainian mayor of Mariupol. On Tuesday, the Ukrainian Navy claimed responsibility for these strikes. Ukrainian drones struck a large military depot in a town deep inside Russia overnight, causing a huge fire and forcing some residents to evacuate, a Ukrainian official and Russian news reports said Wednesday. At least 13 people were injured, Russia's health ministry added. Meanwhile, a senior U.S. diplomat said Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has a workable plan to end the conflict, now in its third year, although its details have not been publicly disclosed. Ukraine claimed the strike destroyed military warehouses in Toropets, a town in Russia's Tver region about 380 kilometers northwest of Moscow and about 500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. The attack was carried out by Ukraine's security service, along with Ukraine's intelligence and special operations forces, a Kiev security official told the Associated Press, speaking on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to discuss the operation. According to the official, the depot housed Iskander and Tachka U missiles, as well as glide bombs and artillery shells. He said the facility caught fire in the strike and was burning across an area 6 kilometers wide. Among the destroyed ammunition were North Korean KN-23 short-range ballistic missiles, another official, in Ukraine's intelligence office, told AP. He also was not authorized to comment publicly and didn't provide evidence to support his claim. 
Russia and North Korea signed a landmark pact in June that envisioned mutual military assistance between Moscow and Pyongyang.